Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a love reading for Pisces. I haven't done these in a while. I want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. Um, I, I know I've been kind of MIA, but I am back. I'm here. So let's see what's going on for you guys in regards to love. Before we start, I just want to let you guys know that my program Unshakable is already available. You can check it out below. It will help you through a very strategically designed workbook to find your authentic voice, share your unapologetic message, and rise into divine service. So this is pretty much the guide for all of you who feel foggy, don't know exactly how to be of service, don't know exactly where to start, you want to help the world, you have no idea how, this is for you, okay? Before even attempting to open a business, dealing with these things and becoming a professional light worker, first you need to know who you are and what you have to say, you know? And this is that. So it's 47 bucks, you can check it out, it's in the description box below. All right, announcement finished. Now moving on to the reading. Mm -hmm. All right, some of you here could be thinking about giving someone a chance, okay, an opportunity in love, but it seems like this person is actually not fully interested, which is super confusing to you because this person may seem like they're flirting, like they're interested, like they want something with you. Especially for those of you who are single. Although this could be someone who's coming in, even if you're in a relationship. And it seems like they're coming in with all of the intentions of making something happen. And it seems like you're ready to give this a chance. But then they sort of retreat or retrieve or get weird. I don't know. It seems to me like someone who, you know, those people who just want to know that they have you. <laughs> like in the palm of their hand and as soon as you kind of like like confirm to them that you are they just walk away that's the kind of vibe i'm getting and some of you could be dealing with an aries so if that resonates be kind of careful with that warrior of wands challenge okay so the knight of wands yeah this could be someone who comes in and out this person is like just as quickly as they appeared in your life before you know it, it's like you don't even know them anymore. They're gone. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And for some of you, you know, even if there is a different kind of storyline happening for you, there could be a theme of someone who... It's just non-committal. Passionate, spontaneous, fun, adventurous, but ultimately not stable enough to be trusted or counted on. Not necessarily that the person is ethically shady, <laughs> but more like this person is not... They don't have this mindset of long term, it seems. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. In the recent past that's beautiful pisces some of you have had a very very stable relationship so far maybe you are having that relationship right now and you know it's all good all stable lots of love lots of potential for a long-term future seems wonderful and in that relationship someone may come in and sort of like try to grab your attention. It could be someone very charming. It could be something kind of like a, you know, lo narcissistic love bombing kind of situation. So if you are in a steady relationship that is good for you, be very careful. Don't fall for this person who could bring in all sorts of uh, signs of interest. Don't let them make you feel like, oh my god, maybe I'm not supposed to be with this person. Maybe I'm supposed to be with this other new person. Be careful with that because it doesn't seem like this person is all like they portray to be. 
I've missed you guys so much, goodness. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups in your mind space. You know, if you've known this person for a while, and this has been kind of like an on and off kind of thing, you've always liked each other, but nothing has come out of it, blah, blah, blah. This person just wants you to, I don't know, like show them that they have control over you and then they're going to walk away. It's fucked up. So you may be thinking precisely because of this, your intuition may be kind of like, I don't know about this person. Like, you may be very excited and be like, oh my god, like if this is what it's presented to me, this could be like everything. But you're like, is it though? Like, mm, it might be a little bit too good to be true or just something feels kind of off. We got here the Ace of Swords in the near future. So you're going to gain clarity. You're going to gain clarity about what, where this person stands, what they want, what you want. Maybe throughout uh, kind of like a conversation with them, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, mind-to-mind -mind conversation. Or this may arrive to you, perhaps through this reading or through some other form of quick awareness. And you're going to be like, oh my god. I see it now and it's gonna sort of make you like snap out of an illusion that you seem to be under look you guys there's still two candy corns left I haven't eaten them and I won't because they have been here for a while <laughs> I have skeleton kitties and doggies and pumpkins I love the Hello Cup Hollywood, I was going to say. Halloween setting. I feel like I haven't even enjoyed October because I've been so crazy busy. That it's like, I began the, the month and I was like, yay, Halloween. And then like, pretty much didn't record anything. Anything for the channel, right? Because I've been working on the primates, on the forecast, on the personalized readings, on the spells. And I had to wait for the eclipse and stuff to pass. So yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I got derailed here. But we have, in what the universe wants you to know, Spirit of Cups. Hmm. Let me check something here. We got Warrior. Nymph. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person in your life. Someone who's very mature. Some of you may be that water energy who's very emotionally matured. And it seems, Pisces, like you are harder to fool. Some of you may be dealing with this... Uh, you know, description, the situation, being in a current relationship, others, it may be, you know, if you're single, it seems to me like you value yourself more now, like you value your, your mood <laughs> more. And it seems like you're not letting people just play with your mood. Maybe you're very sensitive and it's like, if they message you, it, it changes your mood. And if they don't, that immediately changes your mood as well so you may be kind of like you know what i am doing important work or i have to do this i have to fulfill that so i can't afford to be pushed around by someone who seems to be i never know how this word is translated in english i think there's not really like a specific word for it I know that you guys have given me so many like alternatives, but it's not quite right. Someone who's in caprichado with you, who's just kind of like... The best way I can describe it is like this person is kind of obsessed with the idea of having you just for the sake of having you. And it's kind of like a, a very childish, very immature obsession. And they just want you because they want you because they want you. Kind of like children when they want something. 
So someone here may be in Caprichado <laughs> with you and you're like, I don't have time for this bullshit. But that's the thing. Some of you are like, oh my God, is this the love of my life towards this person who's actually just in Caprichado with you. So, you know, careful there. Three of Pentacles in the card that represents you right now. Many of you are in a space in which you're transitioning from the belief of there is someone out there who is the love of my life, the one and only. You're transitioning from that understanding and you're moving more towards the understanding of good relationships are built, are worked on, are created by two people who are invested. There's a lot of amethyst crystal here everywhere, so some of you could really use the calming, relaxing energies of either amethyst or lavender essential oil or incense or anything like that. All right, so the wayfarer, these names, man. Okay, so this is what is in your environment. I see what looks to me like Jupiter, white candles, a third eye, very present and open, flowers, fruits, and the black snake we saw at the beginning of... Oh no, that was a previous reading. Never mind. But it's the same snake though, which is weird. That was a different deck. So what this is telling me is that there is someone around you who sees your expansion, who sees how you have taken the betrayals, the negativity, the challenges, and made them your own, and fulfilled your power there. It seems to me here as well that you could have a Capricorn around. I was going to say something and completely escaped my mind. I guess that was not a message for you. Three of Wands, Hopes and Fears. All right. Oh, that's a thing, Pisces. Some of you who are single, who want love, who want a relationship, you may be feeling scared to have to wait forever. And you may be frustrated and you may start seeing things where there are no things, if that makes sense. Like you may start seeing an amazing life partner when what you have in front of you is actually an asshole, you know what I mean? So careful there because it could be out of the desire to stop having to wait. You may be anxious about just, you know, you want to find a right kind of love as soon as possible. You're tired of waiting. So be careful that doesn't make you kind of force things or yeah, see things for what they're not. Yeah. Yep. If you're resonating with any little bit of this reading, please like this video. Nymph of Pentacles. Okay, beautiful. So I see here that you are in a very steady, and I see Jupiter again here. Is this Jupiter? I think it's Jupiter. It looks like Jupiter. Anyway, um, with the Nymph of Pentacles, I see you here stepping into a more grounded, more mature way of seeing love. Some of you may have had or you may be thinking about getting breast reductions or implants or uh, up, like lift ups or whatever those are called. A mommy makeover, that's what I'm hearing. Some of you may be thinking about that and that they're telling me that should be your focus. Like right now, focusing on yourself, you know, that never really goes wrong, right? Taking care of yourself is really something you can do all the time and it only makes relationships better. You may be surrounded by inflammatory people. People who, yeah, they seem to have a way to pull your heartstrings or 
irritate you or shift your moods a lot. So they're telling you to center on yourself, on your finances, on your work. There's a lot of expansion that's going to be coming in. Some of you have perhaps gained weight during Pisces season. Not Pisces season. Jupiter and Pisces. Um, that period that happened a while ago. And I think today Jupiter is retrograding back into Pisces. Not sure. But I get kind of like a... Like maybe someone who gained a lot of weight and then lost a lot of weight and like breast reconstruction surgery or something. I'm getting that. So if by any chance this resonates with you, this message could be for you or there could be something important in this reading for you. Whether it is the announcement of Unshakable, my program, <laughs> or whether it is actually a message in the reading. I don't know. <laughs> Shameless promotion here. Shameless promotion. All right, angels. Please let me know what is the best and most important uh, message that single Pisces need to hear right now. Ooh, courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Wow. I like it. A message for those of you who are kind of like in a situationship. The best message for those Pisces watching. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Yay. You're being helped and supported here. Some of you may be dealing with a blonde person or you may be blonde yourself. And for those of you who are in a partnership, this is the message. Relationship harmony. Archangel Ragel says, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So this is an overall really, really positive reading for all groups of Pisces in regards to love, it seems. Okay. Um, for those of you who are single, you're being advised to be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. For those of you who are in a situationship, just remember that you are being supported by the divine and everything is unfolding as it needs to. And for, um, for, for Pisces who are in a current relationship, the message is relationship harmony. So whatever conflict, tension, arguments, issues, stagnancy, whatever you may be dealing with, they're telling you now that these are going to be resolved. All right, Pisces. So this is your loved reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I love connecting back with you guys. I've missed you so much. I can't believe the full month just flew by and I barely did any readings. Like, that felt really weird. Did you guys miss me? I hope you guys missed me a little bit. <laughs> I hope you guys noticed. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Shameless Promotion Part 2. I invite you guys to my Unshakable program. It's 47 bucks. It's downloadable. You can get it right now, today, and start this process that will help you release that fogginess that doesn't allow you to really know what to say, what to stand for in social media. Many of you want a big following, but you don't have a message yet. Many of you want to be very kind of like out there. You want to go big. You want to step into your power publicly on social media, but you have no idea what you want to post or what you want to say or how you want to help. And I think this is super important to do before all the other um, products that I'm going to be releasing in which I'm going to be training you guys on how to create your online business as a light worker. Before we even get there, this is super necessary. So if you're thinking about, you know, uh, developing that in the future, joining me for this journey um, and, you know, doing all the training that I have planned for Pisces season, which is going to be kind of like the big launch, make sure to start with this. Start with this. Because, you know, what's the point of receiving training, creating a website, start making products, making some sales, invest your life into this whole new thing without knowing clearly why, what for, for who it is meant to be. You know, if you don't have all of these things 
sort it out. It's kind of like an uphill battle, and I tell you that from experience, unfortunately. So this would be definitely the first step. Check it out, see if it resonates with you. I will leave the link below, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.